Breaking news. Court sack Governor David and his deputy for deflecting to APC. Hello, my wonderful people. I don't know, uh, but in state governor told Nigerians had a meeting and said um, he's leaving a PDP because um, they have been loyal. The Southeast has been loyal to PDP for years and PDP never gave them the opportunity to become president. And so APC is going to give them that opportunity. But should I interest you, APC has already zoned the same presidency now and has put it on Tilibu's laps. Okay? So what you were running for from Sokoto has come to meet you in, Soko, in your Sokoto. So whether APC or PDP Nigerians, listen, they are the same thing. Don't get it twisted. It's the same people over and over again. Don't think there's any difference. Apparently, they were taken to court for the decision they made. And um, this is what the court is saying. Okay, so this is what the court is saying. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Breaking news. Court sacks a boy governor, deputy, over defection from PDP to APC. The court sitting in Abuja has ordered the Eboin state governor and his deputy to vacate their seats as sitting governor and deputy, respectively, over deflection to the All Progressive Congress. The judgment was given on the grounds that the People's Democratic Party, PDP, won the election in March 2019 and, and not its candidates. Citing Section 221 of the Constitution, Justice Equal also ordered the People's Democratic Party to immediately send names of replacement to INEC for fresh election to be conducted in a Boeing state. A federal high court in, a, in Abuja has sacked Governor David Umaye for, of a Boeing state and his deputy Eric Igwe over their movement from the All Progressive their movement to the All Progressive Congress from the People Democratic Party. Daily Trust reports that Justice Eyeko is a uh, judgment on Tuesday, March the 8th, held that their deflection was unconstitutional on grounds that the People Democratic Party won the election in March 2019 and not its candidate. Having deflected to the All Progressive Congress, Governor, Governor David Umay and his deputy cannot transfer the mandate of the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress and so must have to go through election process. Citing Section 221 of the Constitution, Justice Equal ordered the People's Democratic Party to immediately send names of replacement to INEC so that fresh election can be conducted, Chinese television has added. Justice Equo also ordered the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to cease from recognizing David Omae and Igwe as the governor and deputy of Ebony State from henceforth. Ahead of the general election, governor, governor of Ebony State, engineer David Omae, has restated that his belief in God will help him cease to the, oppor the opportunity to become the president and his presidential ambition will be actualized. Umaye, who made this known on Sunday, February the 27th, during a church service at the New Government House Chapel, stated this in Abakaliki. He attended the service alongside his wife and others. So, Governor David Umaye is out of the place. If the judiciary is to be obeyed and if the court orders are going to follow, People's Democratic Party um, must take over a boy state as we speak. David Umaye has beaten more than he can chew. And the people of the, the People Democratic Party has taken him to court over his flirtatious behavior and what he has done. You know, it's just like a man who has a wife, did all he can, you know. He loved her, loves her very much. You know, worked hard, make sure he married her properly, did all the traditional right like he should, gives her every single thing she needs. But guess what? At the instance of the slightest man she sees, she begins to flirt around. 
and the man is you know made of no repute and so the people democratic party this is exactly what the governor of Ebony state has done to them uh gov if you follow the antecedent of governor of Ebony state he has been with the people democratic party climb up the la the ranks and ladder just like the governor of river state the governor of river state who started like local government chairman from there went to school river state university became a lawyer you know go on to become a, a council um a, co a, com a commissioner you know and all that and, and won the election to become the governor of the state so also is the antecedent of governor david omaya and all this has been done through the people democratic party once upon a time he sees another fellow and says well my husband uh thus far we've been together mm, i don't feel i don't feel like um you 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 meet my match anymore i'm aspiring for more and i don't think that um, you can get me there forgetting the days of hard earned struggle forgetting the days that he stabbed himself so that you can have what you want forgetting the days that you came and you said oh my handout is out so oh, i need money and he sold his car okay to make sure you have money to go to school forgetting the days that you were when he married you you were an illiterate i'm trying to use that to illustrate it but he said my wife you're brilliant i think you've got capacity so let's see how you can get back into school okay helped you study that night assisted you got you study help you passed your exams in flying color you got into the higher institution to study and by the time you were a graduate you said well you don't fit into that picture anymore. Have you heard of the word called a missus? Oh, yeah. It's going to catch up. Okay? And the funniest thing is that you don't become bitter as the, as the husband who has spent a lot and invested so much and you've been cheated. No, no, no. It's not your place to take vengeance. If there's one of the things that... There are a few, thing, there are a few things that God call mine. You know, when you touch children's toy, they'll say, It's mine. It's mine. Give it back. It's mine. Mm-hmm. One of those things that God said is mine, is vengeance. So you leave it. Okay, not with bitterness, so no bitterness, so no bitterness at all, at all. You leave it to God. When God starts to deal with the person, even you say, go say, God, I beg for, I forgive, I beg, I beg. Okay, I know, I know, I know, me you talk, God, see, I mean, they offend. And I don't forgive her, I beg for get. I beg for, that's what it is. But when you take vengeance into your hand, you go, you call me a mistake. Because you will not do it the way that it may, it may, it may not fall on you. So rather than being on the uh, of defensive, you become on the offensive. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.